What's going on guys? Clutch here. Welcome back to the channel. Big day today for Farming Sim 19. Got our first maps finally. Farming Sim 19's first new maps in the mod hub. New mods for Farming Sim 19. So excited to finally get some mod maps guys. This is great. Uh, three of them to be exact. Three new mods. All of them actually pretty decent looking mods. So let's go uh, jump into this. We'll take a look at each one of these individually. Uh, we'll see where our starting points are. We'll look at some prices on some fields. And we'll just kind of look around and take a, a quick preview look at all three of these maps. Let's get into this, guys. Pitter patter. Clutch simulations. Alright guys, so let's start off with Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea, I believe is the full name of this map. Uh, this is our starting location right here. It's kind of up on the hillside. Nice looking area. This actually looks really good over here. And if I walk over to the edge here, you can kind of see the whole map to be perfectly honest. Um, so this is obviously on new farmer mode. So uh, we are given a bit of property, we're given some money, and we're good to go. So let's take a quick look at the whole map here. Um, actually, if you look straight ahead, you can see the main center farm area. You don't technically own that right now. So you will need to buy that if you want to continue on. So let's take a look at the map. Uh, so this here is where our farm starts, kind of over on the side here. And the area you own is field like two and three area, I believe. Actually, I think it's down right here. This is the field that you start with, uh, with that mode. And then there's a whole farm area here, which you can kind of purchase uh, plots of land at each one. Uh, you've got a business district up at the top with a bunch of cell points. And then you've got a couple other cell points just down here as a train station and like a seaport, I guess, of some sort. This here's your biogas plant. Um, now, there's not a lot of fields on this map. It's almost like you're up to your own devices. You buy the plot of land and you can make a field where you want. Um, let's go take a quick look around the map. Like I said, here's the farmhouse that we start with. Uh, yeah, it's kind of up on the ridge. We technically don't even own this plot of land, though. Uh, so if we scroll down this hill, and there's kind of a little building on the side here. Interesting. We'll go down to the main farm area. Now, I think the land we are on right in here is the, the plot. We'll start. We'll double check that later on. But this here is the kind of center farm area. Now, you don't, like I said, you don't technically own this. You need to buy all these plots of land if you want to make any adjustments to them, which is somewhat strange. But uh, yeah, so it's a whole center plot of land area. Looks pretty cool. So we've got chickens, you've got pigs, you've got horses, you've got everything in here. Actually, that horse area looks really good the way they've got this set up. They've done some extra work to that. Um, but the field situation, if you look around the map, is a little bit strange. So this here whole area, no fields. You need to make your own fields. It's all grass. It's all field, uh, wild field land, essentially. A little bit different. Uh, let's zoom all the way out. Uh, I'll go take a look at the town site area here. Once again, this here whole area, these are all ind independent. Uh, town site is just over this little canal area right here. It's kind of an island off to its own. There's a bunch of cell points down here, if you can see by the mini map. Uh, so we can bring that up. You can see there's quite a few little cell points in here with all different prices, I'm sure, uh, that, that will fluctuate with the market. So you can kind of choose which one you want to go to. And then on the other side over here, we have the biogas plant. And last of all, there's a center kind of mountainous area as well. Uh, this looks nice down here, vehicle sell point, or vehicle purchase point, I should say. But we climb up here. Oops, get that map, mini map up. And this is a bit of a mountain area as well, right in the center. And you've got another plot of land in the center, kind of flat for building a farm on if you do so desire. But you can kind of oversee the whole map from here as well. Looks pretty cool. Uh, last of all, let's see, down below, nothing back here really, it's just more field land as you can see. So we're going to climb back up towards the main area, oh, interesting spot right there. There's some sp little, little spots along the uh, the ridge of the Alps here I guess, and you can see there's like a bit of a, a bridge across a creek right there, kind of nice. Uh, if you climb up here, this is pretty much as far as you can get is up in this here area. Some dirt tracks that uh, lead up and around and then back to our farm down here. So once again, let's go take a look at the mini map. I'll show you what you own, what you start with. Um, so there we go. So like I said, uh, right click in. Yeah, so it's these two fields here. So these are grass fields that we start with. Um, you may want to sell those, I don't know. So they're uh, worth 104 
thousand nine eighty nine thousand. But see now, if you want to buy this here farm area, you need to purchase these all individually. So there are between seven eight thousand dollars each. Whoops, eleven thousand thirty three thousand seven thousand. So if you want to purchase this area, you most likely can. Not like all that expensive in the grand scheme of things. Um, as well as up here, you technically don't own the house where the house is. So that's another sixty-seven thousand if you want to purchase that property. But you do own, like I said, these two pieces here. That is it, though, on the whole map. Now, one other oddity is this field number one also comes with this plot of land up here. I'm not sure why that is. I don't think any of the other ones do that. I've noticed by just clicking around. But anyways, so that'll do it for uh, for this map, guys. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, what we got next. I believe it's a forestry map. So welcome to Grizzly Creek. Definitely a forestry map. <laughs> uh, it looks pretty good, actually. It looks really nice in here. I do want to get like a dirt bike out and go for a rip down here. Oh, getting a little bit of lag. Um, let's take a quick look around at the map itself. So the map, I always find this with the, uh, the forestry maps. I find they need a little bit of detail. There's not much to them. You can see we've got uh, over here is our center area, I guess, our, our starting point. Uh, you've got a cell point is all down in the bottom corner here, and the rest are all just simple uh, plots of land, which we can purchase to use to do forestry work on. You've got a mountain in the center, marshland down below here, which is kind of useless. Uh, some lakes. It looks looks really nice, to be honest, but um, the map is a little uh, not as detailed as you'd like to see, I'm sure. All right, so let's uh, go warp out here and go take a quick look around. Um, I'm getting a little bit of lag in this particular area. I want to get out of here. See if it gets a bit better. There we go. It looks a little bit better. All right, so down in the bottom corner here, this here is obviously the cell point. Um, you know what? I'm in the wrong spot. Let's get rid of that so it's not looking for it. Perfect. There we go. So this here is your cell point. This actually looks really nice down in here. I do like the look of the, uh, the cell point. You've got a place, a little bridge that goes across the creek here lumber mill uh yourself and then a purchase equipment areas right in here i believe yeah right there so fuel station looks cool i like it um now if i swarp over this way here let's go take a look at the marshland we'll zip through uh the woods here <laughs> and this here is the whole marshland area look at this <laughs> pretty desolate uh interesting very interesting looking area little lake in the background there you can see but uh probably not a lot of use to, for for uh, logging at least i wonder if you could farm it uh we've got a little lake right here and then as we warp up into this here area let's see if i can find it there we go so we got another little cell point or a, a spot here where you can set up a base of operations essentially at the back side um at least that's what i'm i'm taking from this here area it's kind of the furthest point of the map. It's the longest way to get around uh, to the back side of it. So that's kind of what I think that was designed for. Uh, if we warp back around, let's see if we can get up on top of the mountain here. This goes up on top. The, this mountain pass is actually kind of neat. Here we go. This is the mountain pass I was thinking of. Just barely crosses there. Looks a little bit treacherous trying to get up on top. <laughs> so I see some of us rolling our trucks down the edge. That's for sure. It looks good. Looks good. Uh, and you get up on top, slowly but surely, there's another little uh, parking area. So, like I said, all forested areas, guys, it's, it looks pretty good for the grand scheme of things. Um, if you're into logging, which I know most a lot of you are, this is uh, a decent map. We got our first logging map finally for FS19. So let's go take a look at the map again. We'll look at some prices and some plots of land. Get out of this, or back to that. So uh, our starting plot, wow, a little bit of lag in this though, uh, is down in this area here. So you start with this whole area down below here. You can see there's actually another cell point, Grizzly, grizzly Farms, it looks like down in the bottom right corner. We didn't visit that yet, but uh, you've got this whole bottom part is technically yours. Uh, so if you wanted to buy something further up, you're looking 50 grand. There's a couple other small plots of land. You can buy fairly sizable chunks of land, but uh, the mountain area is, what is that, $100,000. There you go. So you can see what we're buying. Kind of cool. Anyways, so that is Grizzly Mountain, guys. Uh, the first forestry map for FS19. Cool. Let's go take a look at the last one. All right, guys. So welcome to New Bartleshagen. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, I hope I am. Anyways, guys, this is more of a traditional map in comparison to the other two. 
Um, yeah, it's a traditional farm map, essentially. So this is your base of operations right in this here. If you're starting with a new farmer, uh, you've got a house. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the mini map and see what fields you get. So uh, you can see here is our new area right here. There's another farm area right up in here, and that is kind of our cell point. I vote there's our cell point at the very top there, you can see as well. Our cell points are on the very northern edge. Um, there's a small little town down here, but there's no cell points, unfortunately. Biogas plant right here in the middle beside us. So let's go uh, take a look at our what we can purchase. So we currently own field one, and uh, obviously the cell points in here, or the uh, drop-off locations in here, it looks like. We don't technically own the house land, which I found a little bit interesting, considering there's a barn and everything there as well, but that's okay. Very large fields, except for the field that we own. The field that we own is actually relatively small. As you can see, one is pretty small, but these other fields are absolutely massive. Well, seven's not great, but look at like five here. Uh, number three, this one is crazy for, uh, it's gonna be a tough one to, to get in the back uh, backside there with. Uh, let's go uh, take a look around. Uh, da, 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 where are we going? There we are. Let's take that. So you can see here is our base of operations, our house essentially. Let's go take a look at the farm that we're uh, we're starting with. So there's a bit of a main drag that goes through a small little town here, which looks pretty nice. So this field right here that we're on now, this is field one. That's the one we own. And here is our farm area, our base area for parking all our tractors. It looks like there's some custom buildings in here, which is kind of neat. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is on this side, to be perfectly honest. The cell point, I have to go double check that one, obviously. That's interesting. Um, and then if we look out on the side here, oh, we're gonna go take a look around. I haven't looked at everything on this one. We're just leaving town. This is one of our main cell points up here. There you go, biogas plant way at the top. Uh, interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting choice of assets. You know what? I did not check that out fully. That's cool. Um, and then on the far side, we have another cell point over here. I thought I saw on the map. Yeah, the sawmill's up here as well. There we go. So your sawmill's up in the back corner up here. But like I said, all the fields in this map are relatively are relatively good size. So if you purchase one, now there are a fair, fair amount of money to purchase. Uh, which one's this one here? Another, another purchase or sell point as well. But um, they're a fair amount to purchase, but they are a really good size. Like you're going to be able to do a lot of farming on these. What is that? Interesting. Okay. Don't know what that is. <laughs> We've got a couple of them in the fields though. There's another one over here. Interesting placement for that. That seems like that might get in the way. Um, yeah, and then we have our small little town kind of off in the side here. No cell points in the town. It's just a, uh, a town in the area. Unfortunately, I wish there was some cell points in here to give you more of a reason to come in here. Just some small homes. And then on the far end, we've got our beach that goes all the way down and around the other side. What we got down here? Just some parking, I guess, for this gazebo area. I thought there was more of a beach here, actually. I guess not. It is uh, more just a, a driving area. Anyways, this field is massive. Look at the size of this field, wow. Anyways guys, that is going to do it for the three mod maps we got in the mod hub today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I think uh, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to finally get some new maps for FS19. I'm sure you guys are as well. So uh, get out there, get downloading them, get playing. Should be a good time. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a big old thumbs up if you did. Give it a big old thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, make sure if you have any questions, yeah, comment, or you can always reach out to us on our Discord as well. Links are in the description for that. Discord, Facebook, Twitter, all that fun stuff. Come visit us. I'd love to hear from you. Other than that, guys, it'll do it for us today. Have a great day. This is Clutch. Over and out.